yeah, yeah. Our guests in this segment include the Vice President of the Berkeley County Board of Education, Jackie Long. Jack, good morning to you. Good morning. It's good to be here. Come on closer to your microphone. And uh, you brought treats. Always treats. Not something I'd probably eat because I don't You have a disgusting watch, look on your face, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> this is filled with Twix, Snickers, and two different types of M&Ms. Good luck. Let, yeah, me, good luck. <laughs> let me ask a question. Dentist everywhere. Question, please. Rob. Yes, sir. Yesterday, Pastor Tim yes. brought you a gift. It was a plunger. Yes. And then Jackie That's brings your great. yeah. <laughs> Jackie brings you a gift of goodies. Yes. They're, uh, so they're trying to tell you something. A the, plunger gun. The no plunger less. is uh, it, it's when when the room is getting deep. When someone's shoveling it big time, <laughs> you take the plunger gun and you you just pull that trigger there. And, there you go. Hold and on. and you plunge. Did something happen? Uh, well, I think the boys wore out the battery yesterday. Okay. <laughs> they may have had too much fun with it. I think the battery's already dead. Oh, so that's something I have to be fearful of that's now when ex- I come ex- on. Exactly right. So but, that's the BS detector in the room, Bill. But she brings the goodies that prevents her from being exposed <laughs> to the BS detector. <laughs> Via telephone, also a member of the Board of Education, Damon Wright. Damon, good morning. Good morning. I see Jackie brings you all gifts, but she never brings any gifts to the board. <laughs> I don't, want to, right. I don't want to offend you all. I don't know who has nut allergies or, or whatever. So, But uh, here, she doesn't even care. care. Yeah, we're just right. going to go for it. Thin the herd, Damon. I'm it's kidding. thin the herd, I'm man. Kidding. Well, I got caught in that one. So. Yeah, you did. You, got, but you know what, though? Uh, thanks. I uh, appreciate Ronnie always hooks us up with uh, treats, even if it's not Halloween yeah, season. So. Exactly. Very good. I'm going to get some of those with the peanuts, the peanut M&M's. You want the peanut oh, put that M&Ms? back over here. Hold on a second. Rob, okay. Let me dig just through just there. grab me one of those. Yeah, I'll All get right. you some peanut M&M's. All right. Me? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Awesome. Treats for everybody. Treats for everybody. Uh, Jackie and Damon, did you either of you by chance hear Chuck Bishop yesterday, Dr. Yes, Bishop, I the did. new superintendent of schools in Jefferson County? Yes. Damon, did you yeah. happen to catch that? Uh, you, I caught that. I don't know if either of you knew of him or the process of getting through. He was superintendent in Clark County Schools nearby, so I'm not sure if your paths have ever crossed. But, uh, Jackie, I'll start with you since you're in studio. Your impressions of Chuck in that interview. I thought he was very impressive, so I think they made a good choice. So I think he'll fit in very well there. Damon? Yeah, I, I thought he was very impressive, gave, uh, gave good answers, and explained exactly why uh, he wants to be here and, well, wants to be in Jefferson County. I thought that was a good first impression. Um, I wish him the best because I don't want the whole system to be well, not just Berkeley County. Am I remembering this correctly? Was that a three-two vote, though? Yes. On, yeah, yes. that's what I thought. So as it was here, as yes. it was here, yeah, exactly. Can either of the two of you remember a school year that started with two new superintendents in Berkeley and in Jefferson County, Jackie? Am I forty years? No. Damon? No. 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 Right. Uh, it's so a different time. It is. Yeah. And and I wonder is it is that just coincidence? Is there something going on in education or in general that's creating changes at the top, Jackie? I think um in in education all over the nation, but especially in West Virginia with you know, we're being we're in border counties, surrounded by border counties where the salary's so much higher that they just come and go with the tide. So it's unfortunate, but there is a lot going on in education. It's- there there was a time that I think I read that the average tenure for a school superintendent in West Virginia was something like three or four years. Um, it's not, really? yeah. I mean, yeah. certainly Manny Arvon broke that mold, but I worked in Jefferson County in the school system from 90 to 96. Which I remember and, well. Yeah, and... <laughs> There, I worked under four superintendents in six years. No yeah. Kidding. yeah. So, I mean, it's not unheard of to to change the guard that frequently. It's a little strange here because we're used to having people for a longer period of time. But um, I I tend to agree with you. It's just such a difficult job, and um, you know, just all the way around the. Uh, all the way around the world, but especially, like you say, in West in, Virginia. In my early years, uh, superintendents, especially in the southern counties, that you know, that was home to them. They stayed. Um, you know, in the last fifteen or twenty years, it's been a different animal. Not so much, Good, yeah. Bill. Yeah, I'm, I cannot think of a more difficult job 
of any profession than being a school superintendent. If you look at it there, the challenges they're facing are the salaries, our, our old structures, uh, the demands of trying to integrate technology, the pressures from the, uh, the parents, they're much more engaged than they were a few years or so ago, and they have well-defined views of what is and what is not acceptable. Uh, and they're just, the, the challenges, I think, are so overwhelming. And any other profession I can think of, be medical, be regular business, whatever the case may be, <coughs> I think are more manageable than a school superintendent. Let's talk about the challenges facing Berkeley County Schools coming up in this next school year. Do you have any idea how many teachers you're going to need to replace Jackie Damon? Well, so far, our board agenda is for the personnel actions. We have resignations, and then we have as many uh, new hires to fill those resignations. So, so far, I think we're doing pretty good. It's when it gets down to crunch time that we have problems because many employees don't resign until right before. right before school starts because they think they're not going to get their health insurance premiums but that's not the case because they're taken out of their checks um, in May mm -hmm. for the summer so they think they're not going to be covered that's not the case but um, it's a, you know it's it's rough on, on a good note, I talked to a friend of mine who's from the Winchester area, and his daughter just graduated and with an education degree, and she had interviews set up, one at Spring Mills and one somewhere in the Winchester area, and she was weighing her options, and she decided to come here, oh, that um, makes my dad. which... Uh, he said that she just got a really good feel for the culture at Spring Mills. Um, and, you know, I was like, that's, that's very affirmative, yes. you know. Um, that's a wonderful little story there because he said, you know, the salary was going to be greater in, in the Winchester area Did schools. Did they say how but, much? Um, about 15%. 15% difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are we, Damon, uh, what are we starting teachers out now right out of college in Berkeley County? Are they in the mid-40s? Uh, no, I think it's a little bit less than that. It's a little bit, I think it's just, just over 40. Yes, like but 41. It's not, uh, 41, yeah, Jackie? Like some of, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I thought it was 38, but it could be 41 now. Yeah, it, it, I, I, don't, I don't, it's not 45, I know that. No, it's, it's much less. Talk a little bit about the the whole certification process. A lot of people talk about, um, you know, they're having uncertified uh, teachers in schools teaching their children, and obviously to fill those vacancies, sometimes you have to go somewhere else um, to to fill those vacancies. So, do you know what the percentage is of of that um, number? I don't know the exact percentages, but, it, you know, it gets more every year uh, with filling positions with uncertified educators. Mm -hmm. um, and really in special needs positions, that's um, where most of that hits. But we do have reading, math, science, um, those positions that we're using uh, individuals that have alternative certificate. So... You know, what is the answer? I don't know what the answer is. Uh, besides better salaries, uh, more uh, positive atmosphere for an educator to go into. Um, uh, you know, Damon might have some thoughts on that also. Yeah, I think I think since as, as a school system, we can't control the salaries. So for us, I think we need to start every year with having – a uniform set of expectations, and I think what harms a lot of our, our school systems, our, our schools in general, is teachers aren't sure what to expect, and even sometimes even administration isn't. And so if we can get everybody on day one saying this is what we expect from, not, from you as, as educators, from you as parents, from students, and have everybody on the same page and, and start in the beginning and making sure everybody is being held accountable to the same standard – then everyone will at least – they may not always agree, but they may be, they'll be a little more confident in what they're doing and not confused and frustrated. If we can reduce the frustration level, 
people can deal with a little bit longer with the less pay and maybe even with some of the complaints, but we just need to improve that atmosphere. And I think that that will draw more people here to West Virginia and to Berkeley County. Damon, you made a good point that uh, we do not have control of the pay here. Yesterday, Chuck Bishop made the statement that he did not have the control of the curriculum. That it was their job to teach the curriculum told to them. This begs to me the question is, what does the Board of Education, what authority that you have, what role do you play other than hiring the superintendent? Well, well we can set well, – go ahead, Judge Jackie. No, you started. You go ahead. <laughs> no, I was going to say for, for us, um, we can set various policies. So we can take what the law says, and then we can try to tweak it and make it so that it fits better for Berkeley County. Um, that's one of the things that we can do other than uh, hiring somebody capable to handle the day-to-day task. Jackie? Well, um, I, I think he probably means policy more than law, but because uh, you, right. you have to follow state code. Mm-hmm. But but I, what was the question, Bill? My question was uh, two of the th- several of the big items that we think of uh, the curriculum uh, is set by the state board of education. Uh, the salary is state is set by the legislators. Uh, what flexibility does the board of education have, and and what role do you play? other than hiring the superintendent? Well, I'll say this, and Damon can uh, reiterate, I hope, that this board is a very active board. We ask a lot of questions. We have committees. uh, We put our input in on just about everything there is. If a policy comes before us that we think is not uh, the way it should be, even when it goes out for review and comment, and when it comes back to us, we... Uh, tweak those changes. Uh, there's just so much that is we are involved with behind the scenes as far as, um, but you. Yeah, I, I yield to the fact you're very active. Yeah. But I'll pursue my question: active to what end? Well, I'll, I'll ask you, and I know I'm not supposed to be asking the questions, but. Um, it's permitted with Bill. Do you, uh, <laughs> have, 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 I'm going to deflect them to Rob. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, I, have you tuned into a board meeting? No, I have not. I have yeah, not. well, no, that, my, my that point, would help you so. Oh, sure, sure, sure. No, but you're missing my point, Jackie. My point is that uh, the big issues that we think of are out of your hands. So that, uh, and Damon uh, responded in, policy, in part by setting policy. Uh, but you're, you're kind of restricted to your influence of policy as well because you're it's you got to stay within the law i'm just curious and i never really thought about this before uh what does the board of education do and i am not you i well, know you i know you do a lot of meeting you do a lot of talking you're very engaged you're very passionate you're very sincere all those are good things and i yield to that but what what is your main purpose we also have worked um pretty well with legislators to let them con- know our concerns for this area. Mm-hmm. I had a great conversation a week or two ago with Amy Grady for about a half hour mm-hmm. regarding the uh, uh, aids in the first grade, first through third grade that we're getting this year because we have 60 of those positions, but our special needs aides are going to those positions. So, you know, she doesn't see that much in her area. She's from Mason County. They probably have three schools. I'm, I'm guessing. I can't half remember. But mm-hmm. issues like that yeah. that we deal with on the le- with the, the legislature, with the budget, we have That's input on the, the budget. budget. Mm-hmm. Uh, the budget comes before us. There's things on there that we've changed. Uh, Damon can uh, reiterate that, that. Uh, we've made changes to the budget. We uh, this year we're uh, initiating a, an alternative school a, um, for elementary through first through five grades for some students that need some extra um, attention. That you know those students might be disruptive in the regular classroom. If we can get them to uh, a smaller area and work with them and f- and find out their need. Because they're, you know, they're behavior problems, but there's a re- reason for them to have a behavior problem. So, um, so you know, things like that that we've initiated that I think are uh, haven't been done in the past. So, 
D- Damon and Jackie, I want to make sure we uh, get into this Upshur County situation a little bit before our time expires today. They are in some serious stuff down there because of mis- potential, alleged misuse of some funds. Uh, some of those funds used for staff retreats, uh, a, a bump in uh, bonus and salary and such. And now uh, the superintendent, even at the state level, has resigned. And we've got uh, a little bit of turmoil uh, and a little bit being an understatement there. Are you concerned at all with any of the fund usage in Berkeley County that was provided by the federal government during COVID and how it's been used? Well, since I'm taking all the air, Tom, I'll let Damon respond first. <laughs> I apologize, Damon. No, no, but no, but no, Damon, even even in giving you the answer, she took some of your yeah. air. <laughs> no, um, I actually, um, I thought about that and I looked into it because actually we asked about this months ago um, before we even knew about the Upshur incident because we wanted to make sure that the money was being spent correctly. So. Just like every other county, we've been audited, and we passed the audit for how we're spending the money. So as far as I, we know now, we're we're in the clear. I even checked yesterday before coming on, and like, yes, we, we spent the money correctly. We've already been audited. We passed the audit. We're not going to be in the same situation as Upshur County. Well, and I'll say this. When uh, we first got the COVID money, um, Betty Ann Powell, who's in uh, head of federal programs, and Jim Butts, that's the treasurer, work diligently to ensure that those funds were those funds were encumbered and uh, and and the proper channels were followed to make sure that they we followed those federal guidelines because it's specific of what you that that money has to be spent for and it's students now there was some uh um clean air some like additional money that they gave for that but the majority of it was for students and it couldn't be for uh, the superintendent to pay herself some extra money or him or her or um to for um trips to stonewall it couldn't i i to me i i'm not sure i'm just guessing i i'm find it hard to believe that the board knew any of that that's just my yeah, that would be the next question is what were the safeties in place to make sure that this was not happening? You, don't, you can't answer for Upshur County, but what are the mechanisms in place in Berkeley County to make sure? I know you mentioned two stops along the way that they had to get by. Were there any others? Every board meeting we get uh, a, the budget or the uh, encumbrances or the, the uh, vendors. It's about this thick. Mm-hmm. I go through them all. I'm, I'm sure the rest of the board does too. And and uh, what we have now, what we've spent, what was spent this month. Um, I mean, we get a great report on that. So if we have any questions, we ask them before the board meeting or we ask them at the board meeting. Damon, what were, what were most of the expenses uh, that were these federal funds were used for? Um, well, they were with the, the summer program, uh, which is, I think, this year or next year is going to be one of the last that the federal funds will pay for. Um, some of the uh, clean air, like maybe fixing some HVAC or something like that. I mean, something where it's directly related to, like, the cleaning. So cleaning products, um, the, you know, even when there was the masking, all of those things went into uh, where some of that federal funds went. And actually, I know there were several board meetings where we asked, well, can the money be used for this or that? And we were told, no, we cannot spend the money on any of these other things because we- – the federal government will come after us because it's not it's specifically for students and specifically for um covid related expenses we placed interventionists in schools um um, more health nurses uh social Mm -hmm. workers um what else damon do any of these people have to be let go now that the federal funds are no longer available we're hoping that through attrition that we can absorb them but you know that can be a possibility as we get down to the wire with uh, and and we've you know those individuals know that so and are there any federal funds remaining from the COVID dollars uh, for this year and next year I think they run out in 2024 remember yeah, September 20 September 2024 they yeah. run out do you have any idea what the balance of money is at this time well I did because we I think it was 15 million Damon was that right maybe something like that but yeah we have to have it we have to have it all allocated and finished probably in June or July of next yeah, year because 
It goes back. Can't, yeah, so because it's of the okay, beginning of school year. And it's okay to use those funds for personnel, but not to bump a salary or increase, but you're talking about where there's a need in certain classrooms, that kind of those thing. P those individuals we put in those classrooms because, mainly because of COVID and the, the what it did, you know, learning, learning, yeah. just learning uh, because of our students were Deficits, so far behind. Yeah. yeah. One other quick question. Do you foresee with the um, the HOPE Scholarship, every year we hear like around or on October 1st how many more students we have in Berkeley County. Is that going to happen this year? Obviously the population is growing, but there are lots of other options for parents out there. Um, and we know that the school aid formula, the number of teachers that you get is based on the number of students and on and on. Um, do you foresee an exodus of students going into um, private schools? I, I think that kind of balances out. Last year we lost about 200, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little more. Uh, I think it goes back and forth. And some of those students came back, and I think that will probably be the same this year. But with our growth, um, I don't see that as definitely hurting our system. Damon, you might have different yeah, thoughts. Yeah, I think we'll still, we'll still have more. We'll gain more students than, than we'll lose. Okay. Um, and even we've, I've heard several times from parents pulling their kids out of some of the charters and other schools and bringing them back into the public school just for various reasons. So sure, like Jackie said, it'll be a back and forth. As Paul Espinoza texted me one day in our comment section, mm -hmm. like reminding me, school choice. So, yeah, uh, Have we topped 20,000 yet in Berkeley County? Uh, we're getting there. We're right next to... I know we were in the, the 19s. Yeah, right? we were 1977. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a job fair coming up any time in the summer for bus drivers, uh, service workers, and such? They just had a job fair. I, I don't know if there will be another one soon or not. They, our, our HR department is so busy. It used to be, you know, there was a downtime because I was in HR and in legal services. And... You had a downtime in maybe three or four months. That doesn't happen anymore. Do you have any changes to curriculum or any of the studies that will be uh, apparent to uh, those who are going to school this upcoming fall? Not that I'm aware of. Damon? No, not that I know of. Not that I'm aware of. Billy? You tapped out? I'm tapped out. Right. Maria? I'm good, too. All right. Then in that case, we go back to the two of you to make sure. There, what else do we need to get out there before this next school year begins in two months? Well, when, I wanted to say this before I uh, end. One, one of the most exciting things I have found is the new teacher breakfast in, in, uh, when everybody comes back. And, to, you know, there might be 150 teachers there. But it is so exciting, and those people are so ramped up to start the new year uh it, it Noobs, just brings a rookies. smile on my face yeah so <laughs> damon and then three months later <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, i'm kidding i'm kidding no, you're not. young teachers no, you're not. are are, yeah. are yeah. stellar damon final word so our old ones uh, sorry no the only word i have is uh parents community please be willing to help and volunteer there's plenty of opportunities to get involved in the school system um, if you have issues and complaints be a part of the solution yeah, and if you have an issue or complaint, don't air it on Facebook. How about calling the <laughs> principal or no chance? The Does superintendent? that happen? No, no chance. Not at all. Hey, thanks to both of you. Appreciate your time this morning, Damon. Thank you.